I'm going to introduce Brent Ackerman as the new chair. He's been active with Rochester Fest for many years, uh, involved with the Celebrity Game Night, uh, writing scripts for the parade, and doing announcing as well, and sometimes ad-libbing. I know as I go by, I know it's a little different from your stand than it is some of the others, where they stick with the script. But anyway, and many, many other events, uh, such as Walk a Mile in Her Shoes. So also we have uh, Kathy Davis here as the past chair, and she is going to be handing over to Rick. So Kathy, come on up. And so without any further ado, I would like Brent to come up. And I'd like to present Brent with the brick. <laughs> Thank you. As he's a very firm found, founder, foundation of our wonderful event. And good luck. Congratulations. All right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Set this down for a second. I do have a, a few words to say. First of all, thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Mayor Brady, Executive Director Carol Brown, Board Chair Bob Nowicki, and the entire Rochester Fest Board for your confidence and having me as your chairperson for this year. I'd also like to thank my co-workers who showed up today, and uh, I'd especially like to thank my wife, Lori, in advance, because she was the chairperson four years ago, so she's been through this, and I'm sure I'll be leaning on her for a lot of advice and help. So, This is our 33rd year, and this is going to be a big year for Rochester Fest, as we transition from our previous location to our new location at Soldiers Memorial Field Park. Now, that area is no stranger to hosting big events. There's a long storied history. In fact, the first county fair was held on that land back in 1860. And in 1934, President Franklin Roosevelt honored the Mayo Brothers at Soldiers Field in front of an estimated 125,000 people. Now, if they could handle that much then, I think we can handle whatever comes our way this year. Um, today, thousands of people visit the incredible Veterans Memorial, which will be celebrating its 20th anniversary this year, and we plan to kind of partner with them to help them with their celebration as part of our celebration. Also today, thousands more take part in activities at the track, the ball fields, the swimming pool, the tennis courts, the playground, and the golf course. I can't think of a better location to hold our annual city celebration than this wonderful place, not only for this year, but for many years to come. Now, as always, Rochester Fest will have great food and entertainment. We're working on a new parade route this year. We've got some exciting new events planned, plus we'll, of course, have some of your old favorites. Now, one of the first duties that I have as the Rochester Fest chair is to come up with a theme. I wanted this year's theme to convey something about our new location, get people excited about the benefits of having Rochester Fest in a park-like setting, with green grass, wide open space, and a family-friendly environment. So this year's theme is Rochester Fest, a walk in the park. Now a walk in the park, that phrase is an idiom. It has a couple of other meanings as well. We're hoping that the transition from the previous location to our new location will be a smooth one, a, a walk in the park, if you will. And by definition, a walk in the park is considered to be an easy, pleasant, relaxing thing to do. And that's what we hope everyone experiences during this year's Rochester Fest celebration, which is only 157 days away. So thank you very much. I'm honored, and I can't wait. Thank you. Thank you. 